Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi uh, I'm Dr. Rosaini again eh? uh, So today I would like to give One example uh, About uh, this clutch Alright The uh, question is uh, like this uh, This clutch that has Both sides effective An outside diameter 4 times the inside diameter Used in an application where 40 kilowatt is to be developed at 500 RPM. That means, based on uniform pressure condition, first the out inside and outside diameters, second the actuating force required, and the design decisions, uh, friction material with the coefficient of friction F equal to 0 0.25, and the maximum pressure is 20 kilopascal is used. Right. So, in order to solve, from the question is given to us, the outside diameter, which is a uh, uh, large D, equal to 4 small diameter. So, D equal to 4 times uh, small D. Uh, so, this is the first equation. And then, the, and then from the... Uh, question also mentioned about the power so from equation of a power we have a p equal to t times uh, omega right uh, so the uh, t times the omega is uh, 2 pi n over 60 right because uh, in the equation given to us uh, n is uh, in rpm so we substitute all the information so we have a power 40 kilowatt equal to t uh, which we would like to determine and then 2 pi n is a 500 rpm divided by 60 and then we get a value of t which is a torque and then uh, uh, by using a uniform pressure as mentioned in the question so we use the formula for the uniform pressure so torque T equal to pi F P max over 12 times uh, light, um, outside diameter um, power of 3 minus uh, small diameter power of 3 um, and uh, so since uh, both sides effective meaning that the number of uh, active friction surfaces or n is equal to 2 okay so n is uh, number of uh, active friction surfaces okay right so we just substitute all the values uh, but uh, please bear in mind that uh, this stock value must you know, multi multiply with number of active friction surfaces O n so we substitute the, all the values so t we get from the, uh, the equation that uh, or the value that we obtained uh, before all right so we just substitute over here and then a pi f is uh, coefficient of friction and then uh, p max is 20 kilopascal divided by 12 and then uh, a big uh, uh, d uh, cube minus a small d cube right and uh, times 2 okay right so this is uh, the second equation so uh, we uh, so first equation uh, we substitute in uh, uh, equation number 2 so the first equation is uh, uh, outside diameter equal to 4 times a small diameter or inside diameter alright so um, so this is the uh, the top value and then apply 0 0.25 times 20 exponential 3 by 12 and then the, this is the first uh, equation which is uh, we substitute the uh, big D to the small d so small d is uh, 4 4 d the power of 3 ok uh, and then minus uh, d power of 3 times 2 and then uh, after we have um, um, 
solve the equation so we get the value of d and then we know that uh, the outside diameter is equal to 4 times the small diameter or the inside diameter so we get an uh, diameter of uh, outside diameter d okay the second equation uh, the second question is uh, actuating force so fa uh, equal to 1 over 4 pi p max times uh, a big uh, d squared minus a small d squared alright so um, we just substitute all the values so 1 over 4 pi uh, 20 kilopascal so the outside diameter uh, is we already determined here so we just substitute over here and similarly for the small diameter d we just substitute here don't forget to square the values eh? right and then lastly we get a value of uh, actuating uh, force in Newton okay so I think uh, that's the uh, solution for the uh, uh, this question